walking netball, one of the sports that's being tipped for a bright future in this country. And uh, I want to talk to you about the success of it in this area and also the part you've had to play in it. Could you tell us a bit more about that? OK, so um, walking netball is, uh, as it suggests, it's a walking form of the regular game. Um, we had a trial here in Swindon um, at the end of July last year and England Netball sent some people down to um, record the session to see what it was like. Had no idea what the game might look like, um, thought it could be very sedentary. Um, but anyway, we were very surprised the game, it's, it's, it's a very good form of exercise, um, it's a lot of fun, um, you can still be competitive and the good news is uh, as well as the target market of um, sort of 50, 50 plus year olds, which was my initial intention. I've now realised that anybody can play it, um, all ages, all abilities, all shapes, all sizes. And it's fantastic for people who may be returning from maternity or they've had an injury and they're in rehab, or for people that have had serious injuries and have had to, to finish the regular game. Um, and indeed, we've got people that are playing following, you know, full knee replacements and ACL reconstructions and stuff like that. So they're back playing team sport, which they never thought they'd be able to do. But you were also playing a big part in the role of walking netball and its success in Swindon, and also creating it. Yeah, I think it's uh, fair to say we've we've not we can't claim to have invented uh, a walking sport. Um, walking football and walking basketball and uh, activities like that have been on the go for a while. Uh, but what we certainly can uh, hold our heads up to is is the fact that we've um, been very heavily involved in the uh, design, uh, the test, the sort of pilot of uh, and implementation and uh, finally the launch of, of Walking Netball, working in partnership really with, with England Netball. They, they came down, as, as I mentioned earlier, to do the record the session in July. Uh, they then came back in September to talk to, to my members about um, what rule modifications we, we might require, might, might be needed. Uh, they then came back in November to again speak to the participants uh, about uh, their feelings on um, what Walking Netball has done for them so they could gather information for their marking material. And then they came in December to do some uh, interviews and also record some footage for the promotional video. And then we had the excitement just after Christmas of um, having the Sky Sport cameras here um, and our three minutes of fame on, on Sky Sport Sports Women programme. And then um, we were invited to take part in the um, netball walking netball demonstration on Super League uh, Super Saturday in, at the NEC in Birmingham. That's great. So you, you say there Sky Sports have been in touch. You've been at Super League promoting the walking netball. How great is it to see this, this new sport blossoming? Yeah, I think it's going to be huge, actually, um, because there's so, so many groups of people that, that could be playing it. I've, the Tuesday night group that we've, we run here at Dorkin is principally for people aged 50 plus, um, but we've also got a young, lot of younger people that have been forced to retire from the game. But they're all former netballers, probably 90% of them are former netballers, so it can get quite competitive, but it's also a lot of fun. Um, I've also started a daytime session um, at Hayden Wick and uh, at Hayden Centre, and we're three weeks into a four-week trial, and already the participants have said, please don't stop, you know, we're loving it. I've got uh, three 81-year-olds um, taking part and 68-year-olds and 76 and 75-year-olds. And that group, it's not, not really netballers, it's just females, 55 plus. Um, I think, we know there's already, I, I'm getting inquiries from people from Plymouth, from Horsham, from Exeter, and we know there are people playing it in, in Hull. Um, Norfolk want to play it, so it's going to be, it's going to be massive. It certainly sounds that way. Um, and as everyone knows, most squires loves netball. But what was your burning desire to actually make walking netball a thing? Why didn't you just stick with netball? What made you appeal so much to walking netball? Um, well, as the, as the netball development officer, I've got two um, main objectives that have been given to me. Um, one of those is to increase usage of the dome, and the other is to increase, use, in, to increase participation. And um, I have put on other events, things like, the, you know, back to netball, or I call it this, this girl can play netball, to, um, to latch onto the Sport England um, theme that was going around sort of January, February last year. I started a back to netball group in, in March. So that's regular netball and that's increasing participation. But for me, it was just looking for other ideas. And I'd read in the local paper about a, a, walking, net, a walking basketball group at Wooden Bassett and I'd heard about walking football. And I thought, well, actually, that's going to be a different group of people. And what I'm keen not to do is have the same people playing, just turning up different nights, whether it be in a company league or a mixed league. I, I don't want the same people really. I want to try and spread the word and get more people playing. So walking netball um, was something I thought would be suitable for the 
over 50s, over 55s, but as I said earlier, it's, I now realise it's suitable for anybody. Walking football, um, if somebody's injured their knee or their ankle or their foot or something, that is actually going to impact the way they, they kick the ball. But in walking netball, um, most people are, have retired through injury because of ankles, backs and knees. But of course, they've still got their hands and the, the handling is, is still OK. Um, so unless they've had a, a hand injury or a wrist injury, then walking netball, I think, lends itself better than perhaps some of the other walking sports do. So. Definitely. And so also, what are the main differences? So let's talk about the game itself. So obviously it's called walking netball, so one of the main differences you walk. But are there any other key changes from the normal game of netball? So surprisingly, uh, not too many. When we did the trial, I thought we might have to reduce it to five aside so that people would have plenty of court to move around in. I thought it might be very sedentary. Um, but actually, we found we didn't need to make too many rules at all. So essentially, um, you're not allowed to run. So it's a free pass to the opposition if you, if you end up running with the ball um, or running into space uh, to receive a ball or to chase a ball down. It's, it's a free pass. Um, normally in, in uh, netball, you, you're expected to keep your, your feet still when you land. Um, and we walk in netball we allow people to walk a couple of paces with the ball and really the only other main difference is uh, in regular netball you hold the ball you're allowed to hold the ball for th for three seconds and in walking netball we allow that to be four and so obviously you mentioned earlier about the success that it's had so far and the fact that sky sports have picked it up super league have allowed you to showcase it there were you expecting it to be this successful when you first started to not think up the idea but help the idea evolve uh, absolutely not. For me, it was just about um, trying to fill the dome and get some get the participation numbers up. Didn't really think where it where it might lead. And um, to be honest, um, I was at a, a county chairs meeting, a, a regional county chairs meeting in Taunton, and I met the uh, England chief exec. And um, she said they've never um, never ever taken something from sort of concept to launch as quickly as, as this they've been when they took the video away from the, the Swindon's July session they were very impressed with what they were seeing thought it, it could it could be a very very useful product for them but yeah it's been surprising but um, now that we know what it offers it, it isn't a surprise and it, and it will fly fantastic exciting times ahead thank you Mo yep. thank you